I'm in front of the Paramount Center, it's right in the heart of the Melbourne CBD. I'm gonna go check out a food court in there that has really authentic Thai food. Let's go! I gotta say, when I walked into this plaza, I was kind of thrown off. It did not impress me at all. It was like walking into like a ghost town. There was nothing going on really. But then when I walked downstairs, everyone seems to be around this restaurant area, in this food court. Midi, this Thai restaurant. And I had to try something from here, yeah? So, I've got my all-time favorite Thai dish is the chicken lap salad. This is a, a ground chicken that's just pretty much drenched in spices and herbs. And then over here, I've got the papaya salad. This is, I got the one with the fermented kind of pickled uh, crab. This is the, the Lao style. And then I got another salad. It looks like I'm in a salad mood today because this is a pork salad. See right there? That's just pork slices. And of course I gotta go with the Thai boat noodle. This is the Thai boat noodle with the traditional rice noodles. It's uh, not the really thick noodles. It's, the, it's a little bit thinner. And of course Thai milk tea. I'm gonna go ahead and try the papaya salad first because I haven't had that in ages, ages. Get some of that. Get some of that crab. To that, to the crab right there. Yes. Ah, oh, smells so good. Ah, oh, that spice really gives me a kick. And the crab, if you actually chew it enough, you can just eat the whole thing. But some people spit out the shells. And that uh, papaya salad is just ah. Oh, they did not kid around with, with the chili. Look at the, look at that chili right there. It's just bashed in there. And then all the chili seeds, you can see the chili seeds. It's just drenched in lime juice and it's also got some green beans. They're giving us some cabbage as well. You can you kind of put the cabbage like that as like a little plate. And then you, you put the papaya and all of that in there and then you just eat it like, like this. Kind of like a hors d'oeuvre. Mm. So refreshing. You can taste the, the lime juice mixed in with the, the crab, the fermented crab and the chili. Can't forget the chili. Also taste some dry shrimp in there as well. They've also put some, yeah, there it is, yeah. They put some dry shrimp in there as well and they kind of just throw everything in there, throw all the ingredients in there and just bash it up together and um, create this delicious plate of goodness. This is the fermented crab that was in the papaya salad, yeah? I'm gonna try it. Really interesting flavor. Some people might not like it, but the texture itself is actually really creamy. It's like the, the, the meat has been fermented for so long that it's just kind of disintegrated in itself. And it's just creamy, it has this kind of crabby aftertaste, salty, but it goes really well with the papaya salad. Eating it alone might be a little too much, but yeah, that's pretty much what fermented crab is. How about the chicken lap salad? This is pretty much a ground chicken, which is like a minced chicken, and then they just put the this uh, dried rice. It's a ground rice. It's raw rice that they fry up and make it golden brown and kind of just bash it. And it gives out this incredible aroma. I can't even explain it. It's just a beautiful smell. And it gives it an incredible taste with the lime and the, the chilies. Just grab a big spoonful of this. And then you've got, you've got, uh, you got some green onions, some, some red onions, all the lime juice and the chilies just mixing in together. It's good to eat this with rice. I love eating this with rice. Really good. I can taste the, the ground rice really distinctly. A little bit, I wouldn't say burnt flavor, but kind of that charcoal-ish like ground rice flavor. Can't explain it, but this is some incredible lap salad because I've had lap salad in a lot of places. I was actually introduced to lap salad through an old friend, Maricel, when I was uh, a little kid. And ever since then, it's been my favorite dish. They've also given us some mint leaves as well, and also some cabbage here as well. So we can do the same thing. Just put it on there, use it as a plate. Mmm, so good. And that's the thing about Thai, thai food, it really opens up your palate, you know, and, and opens up all your senses because it just kicks you with all the spices and herbs. Oh, that tangy flavor is just incredible. Good lap salad, for sure. Let's try the, um, those pork strips. It looks like it's been cooked the same way as the lap salad. You can see the ground rice in there, all the chilies, and also it's been it's been cooked in some some kind of oil and also lime juice. Get a nice nice piece there. Let's try that. Not too bad. The the 
pork is actually a little tough, a little bit dry, but the flavor is just beautiful. It's, it's again, the ground rice and the lime and all the herbs, the chilies, the onions, it kind of just gives it that beautiful burst of flavor. The pork itself is pretty tasty. Just the texture is a little bit dry. It's probably just the cut of the pork, the type of meat, but yeah, the flavor otherwise is incredible. Got some coriander too. Mm. Got more of the juice on the bottom there. A little bit salty and really sour, but I love sour stuff. Let's try the Thai boat noodle. Now this is the Thai boat noodle. It's got some Chinese broccoli in there, coriander, and all this beef. I had a choice of getting the, the beef for the, the pork, but the more traditional way to go is the beef. And they've got the pork crackle in there beef ball. Let's uh, give it a shot. I'm going to try, try the, the, the broth first. I've had a lot of Thai boat noodle soup in a lot of places. Let's compare this. Yep, it's pretty, pretty much average. Not the best Thai boat noodle I've had, but definitely good quality as well. It's that, that beefy broth. It's a more sweeter soup versus other soups. It's kind of compared to the Vietnamese pho noodle soup but I find that it's a lot more beefier and um, the beef aroma is just, you can't compare. And the noodles, let's try the noodles. They said that this is the traditional, the more traditional noodles. The one that's not too thick. Let's try that. Mmm, very good. Noodles is not too, not too hard, but also not completely soft. That's a really nice, Kind of stringy texture to it. Let's have some beef. Look at that. Got some bean sprouts as well. That beef is really tender. Really good. Didn't have to do much chewing. But um, it's the flavors. Oh, when, whenever I bite into it, it's just a beefy aroma. It's really good. All right. Let's try this iced tea, yeah? Thai restaurants usually usually have Thai iced tea. This is like a, a milk tea. Just uh, Thai tea with with some sugar and, and milk. Oh yeah, really good. You know, a lot of Thai teas that I've tasted, you can't really taste the, the tea flavor. It's a lot of just the milk and the sugar. But this one is actually, it is sweet, but I can taste a lot of the tea flavor, which is really, really good. It has a really nice aroma to it. And then a little bit of that, that milky flavor. And it's just, with all the ice and everything, it's so refreshing, oh, it's beautiful. I highly recommend trying a Thai iced tea next time you go to a Thai restaurant. That's it for me for today. I had an awesome lunch. My stomach is burning from all the chili. But thanks again for watching. Remember, you've only got one life. Live it.